this guy don't want to talk to me. Sorry. Ooh, look at that. I found a third power source. Already? It popped up in an earlier search, but I've only just managed to confirm it. Where? There's a museum in Cairo with one on display. I guess Connor will have to wait. No, you stay. We need to find that key, and time is running out. I'll make the trip. What about Cross? Everything's going to be fine. I'll be back soon. Ready when you are, Desmond. Winter approaches. The air is still and sharp with grim expectation. The others sense it too and go about their work with uncommon urgency. I would like to help them, but more pressing matters now demand my attention. The Templars have targeted George Washington directly and will not rest until he is dead. I had hoped to shield him from this knowledge, but Thomas Hickey ended any hope I had of staying silent. And so I have resolved to share everything I know of the Templars and their plots, of who I really am. Achilles finds fault in this, and we argue every day, but there is simply too much now at stake to maintain restraint. Don't do this, Connor! Then what would you propose we do? Sit and watch while the Templars take control? We are sworn to stop them, or have you forgotten? Assassins are meant to be quiet, precise. We do not go announcing conspiracies from the rooftops to all who pass by. Who are you to lecture anyone? You locked yourself away in this crumbling heap and gave up on the Brotherhood entirely. Since the day I arrived, you've done nothing but discourage me. And on the rare occasions you've chosen to help, you've done so little, you may as well have done nothing at all. How dare you! Then tell me, on whose watch did the Brotherhood falter? Whose inaction allowed the Templar Order to grow so large that it now controls an entire nation? If I sought to dissuade you, it was because you knew nothing. If I was reluctant to contribute, it was because you were naive. A thousand times you would have died and taken God knows how many with you. Let me tell you something, Connor. Life is not a fairy tale, and there are no happy endings. No. Not when men like you are left in charge. In your haste to save the world, boy, take care you don't destroy it. Ha! Connor's such an asshole. Commander. Connor. Any word on Lee? Not yet. My apologies. I've been distracted. Supply caravans meant for the camp have gone missing. I suspect treachery. A traitor named Benjamin Church, recently released from prison, has vanished as well. The two events are surely related. What was his crime? He was caught sending letters to the Loyalists, detailing our troop strength. He claimed it was a scare tactic, that we might avoid war. A poor lie. I will find church for you. Why? What reason have you to help? Does it matter? As you wish. We've received reports of trouble along the southern road. 
might be he's responsible. I suggest you begin your search there. All right. Uh, we have a... Ah, Connor. What do you think of my work thus far? The men are bolstered. Focused. It is good you have come. Ah, uh, you are too kind. Lord knows my journey was far from certain. The trials we suffered getting here were strange and many. <laughs> I dressed as a woman, Connor, to evade British spies. Did you know that? I did not. As a woman, you say? It is the truth. King George had already stopped our crossing once in Bordeaux, threatening to seize my newly purchased ship, La Victoire, and arrest me. But I was born stubborn, and such a warning could not dissuade me. So we rode for Spain and bought passage aboard the ship there. George's spies had followed us every step of the way. Disguise was the only remaining option, mon dieu. No man can doubt your commitment, and you are invaluable to the cause. You did what you needed to do. <laughs> I am certain I would have done the same. <laughs> but of course you would. I expect nothing less. Dress as a woman to get to America. Alright, so... Wants me to check this out. It's not too, too far away. Though we are in a hell of a blizzard. And ladies and gentlemen, we have found the man that defies gravity. Oh my god. So one annoying thing is... You see that Fort Duke? Why I can't pronounce that name, but I passed that about 15 minutes ago and it still hasn't disappeared. And that's one really annoying thing. Just a constant reminder hey, you gotta clear this fort out. Even though it's an optional mission, they should have taken that out of the gameplay. But. Not a major distraction. Father, Connor, any last words? Wait. A poor choice. Come to check up on Church? Make sure he's stolen enough for your British brothers? Benjamin Church is no brother of mine. No more than the Redcoats or their idiot king. Oh, I expected naivete, but this... The Templars do not fight for the crown. We seek the same as you, boy. Freedom, justice, independence. But... Hmm? But what? Johnson, Pitcairn, Hickey... They sought to steal land, to sack towns, to murder George Washington. Johnson sought to own the land, that we might keep it safe. Pitcairn aimed to encourage diplomacy, which you cocked up thoroughly enough to start a goddamn war. And Hickey? George Washington is a wretched leader. He's lost nearly every battle in which he's taken part. The man's racked with uncertainty and insecurity. Only look at Valley Forge to know my words are true. We're all better off without him. Look, much as I'd love to spar with you, Benjamin Church's mouth is as big as his ego. You clearly want the supplies he's stolen. I want him punished. Our interests are aligned. 
And what do you propose? A truce. Perhaps... Perhaps some time together might do us good. You are my son, after all, and might still be saved from your ignorance. I can kill you now, if you prefer. Excellent. Shall we be off? Do you even know where Benjamin Church has gone? I'm afraid not. I'd hoped to ambush him when he or one of his men returned here. It seems I'm too late. They've come and cleared the place out. I may be able to track him. <coughs> there were rations inside the crates. Medical supplies and clothing as well. All right, let's just wait here for a little while until that patrol leaves. I know, Father, you can easily man down all of them, but I prefer not to be in open conflict. All right. Snow has obscured the tracks, but enough remains that we can still follow. Just my luck. Going to freeze to death if I don't get this fixed. Are you Ben Church's man? Well played. Come on, Connor. How do you slow ass little bitch? It was not wise to run. What do you want? Where is Benjamin Church? I don't know. We was riding for a camp just north of here. It's where we'd normally unload the cargo. <laughs> Maybe you'll find him there. Enough of that. You did not have to kill him. Let's not waste time with all this pointless banter. Go catch up with the rest of Church's men. Infiltrate that camp of theirs and see what you can discover. And what about you? Never you mind. Just do as I ask. Saw a bit of gunpowder in those crates. We'll get extra for that. I, Church, will be pleased and we'll be rich. I almost feel bad for the Yanks, shivering and starving out there. It's a hard way to go. All they need to do is raise the right flag. They should have done that a long time ago. All this fight serves no purpose. The crowd's sure to win in the end. Waste all those lives chasing a fool notion. Great.
right, looks to be in order. Go and see the foreman. There's another run planned for tonight. I'll go bring the wagon to meet up with you later. <coughs> time you showed up. Listen here. Boss wants us to try something new tonight. A raid. No more convoys. We're to steal from the Yank camp itself. Valley Forge. That's right. You sure about this? It's not my business to be sure or not sure. I just do as Church asks. If you're so concerned, take it up with him. Is he here? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> of course not. Hiding in New York, the last I heard. Trying to keep a low profile. What on account of him not wanting to go back to jail and all. All right, I mean. Of course you are. Look what we found. He was creeping around the camp all suspicious like. Must be a Yank spy. Nah, uh, he's something else. Something special. Isn't that right, Haytham? Church told me all about you. And you should know better than this. <clears throat> You're not really in a position to be making threats, are ya? Not yet. with these louts meet me in new york what you mean to just leave now if you can't handle a couple of mercenaries then we've really no business working together all right unbelievable hitting them with the cheese the optional objectives. At least I got a smoke bomb back. Wants me to meet him in New York. What's the easiest route? No. One month later. Ooh, 
literally right here. Evening, Connor. I see you made it here in one piece. <laughs> Recovered from your beating, then? Benjamin Church is holed up on an abandoned brewery on the waterfront. We should be done with this by sunrise. Good. I would like to have those supplies returned as soon as possible. Of course. I wouldn't want to keep you from your lost cause. Come along, then. Follow me. I wish they kind of allowed you to play Haytham a little bit longer than the first, the, uh, the first sequence. <coughs> I think Haytham would have been a quite an interesting character. Tell me something. Hmm? You could have killed me when we first met. What stayed your hand? Curiosity. Any other questions? Do you love me? What is it the Templars truly seek? Order. Purpose. Direction. No more than that. It's your lot that means to confound with this nonsense talk of freedom. Time was. The Assassins professed a far more sensible goal. That of peace. Freedom is peace. Oh no. It's an invitation to chaos. Only look at this little revolution your friends have started. I have stood before the Continental Congress and listened to them stamp and shout. All in the name of liberty. But it is just noise. And this is why you favor Lee? He understands the needs of this would-be nation far better than the Jobinels who profess to represent it. <laughs> it seems your tongue has tasted sour grapes. The people have made their choice. And it was Washington. People chose nothing. It was done by a group of privileged cowards seeking only to enrich themselves. They convened in private and made a decision that would benefit them. Oh, they might have dressed it up with pretty words, but that does not make it true. The only difference, Connor, the only difference between myself and those you aid is that I do not feign affection. So, I can't call you daddy. Hold a moment. Church, you clever bastard. What is it? I was hoping I could wave you past the guards, but it has replaced most of them with men I don't know. Hmm. Well, I should be able to pass without arousing suspicion, but you... No. We do this together or not at all. Then what do you propose? I will find a guard who is off duty and take his uniform. Very well. I will wait here, then. Of course you will. Oh, I'm sorry. Would you like me to come along and hold your hand, perhaps? Provide kind words of encouragement? Thank you. 
That should suffice. Follow me. Hold, strangers. You tread on private property. What business have you here? The Father of Understanding guides us. You I recognize, not the savage. He is my son. Tasted of the forest fruits. <laughs> <laughs> Off you go, then. Even Connor was like, wait, what the fuck? Tasted the forest fruits, have you? Locked. Give me a moment. Must be strange for you, discovering my existence as you have. I'm actually curious to know what your mother might have said about me. Always wondered what life might have been like had she and I stayed together. How was she, by the way? Dead. Murdered. What? I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, you're sorry. I found my mother burning alive. I'll never forget her face as she sent me away. Charles Lee is responsible for her death by your order. And you're sorry. That's impossible. I gave no such order. I spoke the opposite, in fact. I told them to give up the search for the precursor site. We were to focus on more practical pursuit. It is done. And I'm all out of forgiveness. Benjamin Church, you stand accused of betraying the Templar Order and abandoning our principles in pursuit of personal gain. In consideration of your crime, I hereby sentence you to death. No! <coughs> You're too late. Church and the cargo are long gone. And I'm afraid you won't be in any condition to follow. We've chosen... To stand with the victor. It's Britain who will win this war. You always did prefer principle to profit. Perhaps. Okay. That's why your little kingdom started to crumble. It was a nice dream you had, but a dream is all it ever was. My Look at the half free fight by yes. some feral dog. Best we put him down, boys. Those two, get him! Uh, <coughs> Hatham's affected Don't. by the cheese. Oh god, I'm sorry. Hatham. Escape! I mean, father. Get him! But. The Indian too! Take him down! That one, and he's half free! Surround them! Where is Church? I'll tell you anything you want. Only promise that you'll let me live. You have my word. He left yesterday for Martinique. Took passage on a trading sloop called the Welcome. Loaded half its hold with the supplies he stole from the Patriots. That's all I know, I swear. You promised. And he kept his word. Let's go. I mean, 
Hatham was right. I did kept keep my word. We need to get out of here. You don't say. No, I'm Captain Obvious. Why? So close, yet so far. You'll need to find a way around the flames. Already have, father. Get back here, traitors! Oh, how I'll enjoy making you pay for your betrayal. Did church pay you well? Were you rewarded handsomely? And what good does your gold do you now? Is it magic gold, you think? Like the one they spun the fleece from? <coughs> How unlucky of them. Find something to pry it open. Connor? What are you up to? Oh, no. Don't do that. There's no way of knowing what's on the other side! Hi! <laughs> Hi! We do now. Church is at least a day on us. We must move quickly for to catch him. I have a ship we can use. Meet me on the pier when you're ready. off on that I want to see I can get a few supplies I do have quite a lot of money, so. Travelers, 
always make our den their destination. Shall we? Why am I rowing and you're not helping? We're going to Jurassic Park, baby. I told you this was a poor heading. Church is surely days ahead of us now. Have some faith in the boy. He's yet to disappoint. Oh, well, the I've bar's not shown been set very high now, has it? Disappointment. Quite a bit. We are closer than you think, father. I have fully upgraded my ship, and as a matter of fact, oh no, 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 no. Give me the fire The welcome. Aye, and she's dropped anchor. Bring us in for a closer look, son. He's liberally using that word, son. It seems the ship has been abandoned. Church always was a slippery little bastard. After them! We need more speed. Fall in the A ship, given the way you sail. Perhaps someone with more experience should take the wheel. Do you want to? Go no faster! 
Oh, we're in rocky terrain, my friend. Or... Get a second chance at this. It's almost as though you want him to escape. She's passing between the cliffs, boy, and the Achilles too big to follow. We need to go around. God damn it! We're going to lose him! What other choice have we? Those rocks would crush us! The current here is swift. We still have a chance. to the sea floor. No, I need this ship to float. The cargo must be saved. Ending this. Secure the ship! Hook us in! Bring her close! Two arms! Two arms! Man the swivels! Cover from the quarter deck!
What has Church done with the cargo? quite an adventure. Let me tell you, working my way through your nasty little tricks and traps. Clever! Some of them anyway. I'll give you credit for that. Enough! We came here for a reason. Different reasons, it seems. Where are the supplies you stole? Go to hell. Okay. I ask again. Where are the supplies? <laughs> On the island beyond her. I'll wait and pick up. But you've no right to it. It isn't yours. No. Not mine. Those supplies are meant for men and women who believe in something bigger than themselves. Who fight and die that one day they might be free from tyranny such as yours. <laughs> are these the same men and women who fight with muskets forged from British steel? who bind their wounds with bandages sewn by British hands. How convenient for them. We do the work. They reap the rewards. You spin a story to excuse your crimes, as though you're the innocent one and they the thieves. It's all a matter of perspective. There is no single path through life that's right and fair and does no harm. Do you truly think the Crown has no cause? No right to feel betrayed? You should know better than this. Dedicated as you are to fighting Templars, who themselves see their work as just. Think on that the next time you insist your work alone befits the greater good. Your enemy would beg to differ. And would not be without cause. Zamanios kinaa, netti ja nete kantu tsitokaske. You did well. This passing was a boon for us both. Come on. I expect you'll want my help retrieving everything from the island. I have been reunited with my father, but I do not yet know if this bodes well or ill. Our goals are aligned, at least so far as independence is concerned. But he continues to defend Charles Lee, the man who murdered my mother and burned my village. Still, he makes a point about Washington and those who back him. I hear much talk of freedom and equality, but it seems one must be a landed white man to benefit. What if someone like me, or Suri? What role for us in this new world? Is my father right then? There is so much I must consider and so little time in which to do it. Welcome back. And how was Martinique? Achilles, I... I owe you an apology. It was wrong of me to say the things I did. 
Your words were harsh, Connor, but there was also truth there. I feel the order allowed the Templars to take control. But now their hold is weakened, which makes me believe there's a chance for peace. Imagine what might be accomplished if we were to unite. Why the change of heart? Where is this coming from? You've met your father, haven't you? I do not claim to trust the man or even like him. But I would be remiss to ignore this opportunity. Haytham may listen, but will he understand? And even if he does, will he agree? Even he must admit that we can achieve more together than we do alone. I assume you're off to find him. Yes. I ride for New York to see what might be done. planning if we're to put an end to this i've tried but the soldiers themselves are told nothing now only to await orders from above keep digging come find me when you have something worth sharing we're so close to victory a few more well-placed attacks and we'll be able to put an end to the civil war and be rid of the crown what do you intend well nothing at the moment since we're completely in the dark i thought the templars had eyes and ears everywhere oh we did until you started cutting them off. Your contact said orders from above. It tells us exactly what we need to do. Track down the Loyalist commanders. you have you considered the proposal I'm unconvinced to reinforce them would leave New York exposed it's hard enough maintaining order with our current numbers cut in half yet if we do not join with them they risk defeat and then what well, they should have come by sea. Well, they're talking in circles. Well, they're nothing watching as we are. Then what do you propose we do? March in there and demand answers? Well, yes. Ah! Ambush! Connor? Little help here? Leave the commanders alive, Connor. We can interrogate them.
bring them back to my quarters at Fort George and see what secrets they might share. <sighs> really? Well, you'd best get after him then. You go. I will watch the prisoners. No, you do it. Why me? Because I said so. Now go. Uh... Said move. Wait, wait. I I'll tell you anything you want. Anything. Only don't make We just have some there. questions for you. Cross that threshold, and I'm a dead man. There you are, Connor. I was worried you might have gotten lost. Come along, then. made me go through all that. It might be faster if you if I just push you. I missed the push. I missed the push again. What are the British planning? To march from Philadelphia. That city's finished. New York's the key. They'll double our numbers, push back the rebels. When do they begin? Two days from now. June 18th. I must warn Washington. You see? That wasn't so very difficult now, was it? I I've told you everything. N now let me go. Of course. <sighs> the other two said the same. It must be true. You killed him. You killed all of them. Why? They'd have warned the Loyalists. You could have held them until the fight was done. What? And we're precious time and money on their care? What would be the point? They'd given up everything they knew. I'll meet you at Valley Forge. Monsieur Conner, a pleasure as always. What brings you? I wanted to ask you something. Why is this revolution so important to you? Hmm. Since I decided to embark upon this adventure, through all the lords and merchants and soldiers I've spoken to, you are the first to ask me this. Have you ever been to France? I have not. One day, when all of this is over, I will invite you to Paris to stay with me and my family. She is the most beautiful city in all the world, Connor. Full of art and culture, women and wine. But... She is sick on the inside, black and rotting. But here, here is something quite different. On the outside, the colonies are dirty and dangerous, unforgiving and uncivilized. But on the inside, they glow. And that is why I am here, to learn. I want to return home, able to touch France's black heart and make it glow once more. Oh, don't worry. It's going to glow soon. I think the French Revolution will start in about 
15 years, 20 years, 1796, I believe. I believe. <laughs> it's gonna glow her, right? It's not gonna glow green. It's gonna glow quite bloody red. should be sharing what we know with Lee, not Washington. You seem to think I favor him, but my enemy is a notion, not a nation. It is wrong to compel obedience, whether to the British crown or the Templar cross. And I hope in time the loyalists will see this too, for they are also victims. You oppose tyranny, injustice. These are just symptoms. Their true cause is human weakness. Why do you think I keep on trying to show you the error of your way? You have said much, yes, but you have shown me nothing. Then we'll have to remedy that, then, won't we? Sir. Hello, Connor. What brings you here? The British have recalled their men in Philadelphia. They march for New York. Very well. I'll move our forces to Monmouth. If we can rout them, we'll have finally turned the tide. And what's this? Private correspondence. Oh, of course it is. Would you like to know what it says, Connor? It seems your good friend here has just ordered an attack on your village. Although attack might be putting it mildly. Well, tell him, Commander. We've been receiving reports of Allied natives working with the British. I've asked my men to put a stop to it. By burning their villages and salting the land, by calling for their extermination, according to this letter. Not the first time, either. Tell them what you did 14 years ago. That was another time. The Seven Years' War. And so now you see what happens to this great man when under duress. He makes excuses, displaces blame, does a great many things, in fact, except take responsibility! Enough! Who did what and why must wait. My people come first. Then let's be off. No. You and I are finished. Son. Do you think me so soft? that by calling me son, I might change my mind. How long did you sit on this information, or am I to believe you discovered it now? My mother's blood may stain another's hands, but Charles Lee is no less a monster, and all he does, he does by your command. A warning to you both. Choose to follow me or oppose me, and I will kill you. Ouch. Ouch. Do not touch the ground. That's gonna be right away a failure. Thankfully, there's no time limit. Uh, stop all Patriot messengers and... Gonna have to shoot them. Yep.
I should make sure the village is safe. Why'd it take two bullets to stop him? Whoa. What is going on right there? whole bunch of Americans over there. Radun <laughs> Hagedun. <laughs> Charles Lee. Luana Ya, ya te tkari hoyeri. On a jerry on the desert ni gun, hare. Ya gon tat desert hunjani ne giga, ne ayagoderio. On a tia shaga ne, te dom zong da ke dasta. them, right? Or can I? Did a body slam on him. Scana, can I doggo? Don't <laughs> Then what does it want ducks at the Nezungwe that soon? Zadarissa! Unga Dorissa, no, no, I hear you. Yo, Tena, that is a dancer. 
Nzika Dohetstane, Rudun Hagedum, Charles Lee, Mountmouth, Wasa the Hajib, Asagonat Dumase, Zinahot and Patriot, Ranadeno Yuni, Jurah Saga, Asagonase de Ondok Tangi Kamoderio, Ronodio Hot Quenu. Ungenungwe da summa. Oh, die hat dann am Start umge. Iwe, der ja nawandu tainguwe ja dann am Start umge. Ona wasa der Rissa im Jadaro. position for as long as it takes. If the enemy is allowed to push through, we will lose what precious little ground we have gained. The sacrifices your brothers have made today must not have been in vain. Now go! Bring the fight to our enemy! Make them rule the day they marched upon us! Connor, my friend. You have arrived just in time to bear witness to our... Glorious victory! Where is Charles Lee? That Batar. He shows up in the middle of our preparations and just takes charge. Screams at everyone to advance, and then rides away. I am left to pick up the pieces. Hmm. Where did they come from? Send word that we are falling back! Everyone, to me! Now! Now! I will hold the area while you bring them to safety. I grant you my finest soldiers to serve as your personal guard. There is nothing they will not do to ensure you are victorious. Bonne chance, mon ami. See the left side. That should slow them I mean down. the right side, I don't know my left and rights. We'll push these red coats back yet!
there, almost there. Come on, hold on, hold on. Oh, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Almost there, almost there, almost there. We'll push these red coats back yet. Don't give that them the push. Slow them down. Ten seconds, ten seconds, ten seconds. Almost there, almost there. Almost there. We are low on ammunition, sir, and the enemy advances. Then we need to pull back, rejoin the others, and cover their escape. If we carry you this way, hurry! Now. Oh. If we carry, we'll die. Best we go. Shoot! Get back to the others! I will take care of this! Well done, my friend. You have saved many lives today. Connor? Charles Lee has betrayed you. He forced retreat in the midst of battle, hoping the lost would take the lives of your men and see you relieved of your command. What? I'm sure he will come and spin a tale saying that he was outnumbered or I was somehow to blame. All lies. I will say it one last time. That man is your enemy, and he will not stop until you are dead or dishonored. Connor's tale rings true. Lee was acting most odd upon the battlefield. I will investigate these allegations at once. The time for that is long past. This must be done properly, else we're no better than those we oppose. Never mind the political ramifications of such an act. Should you choose to spare Lee's life, then I will take it myself. Enjoy your victory, Commander. It will be the last I deliver you. Damn, I'm sorry to the one revolutionary soldier that got executed. I try my best. Something's happened, Desmond. 
Abstergo has your dad. Where? Italy. Same place they were holding you. What are you two waiting for? Let's go. There's more. Hello again, Mr. Miles. I hope this message finds you well, or as well as it can, all things considered. It appears we now each have something the other desires. I propose a trade. Bring me the apple, and I'll return your father to you no worse for the wear. Should you refuse, he will still be returned, albeit much worse for the wear. I assume you'd like to avoid an unpleasant outcome. I always knew it would come to this. Just not so soon. I wonder if Abstergo even knows what's about to happen. I mean, has this been a part of their plan all along? Maybe they want the world to end. To see it all burned away. Then they'd have their new world. Ripe for the reshaping. We talked about looking for another power source. Leaving him there. It's probably what he'd want. For us to finish the mission. But I can't. It's hard enough taking a life, but letting one be taken? Knowing there was something I could do about it? Not a chance. It might be I'm risking my life, risking all our lives to save an asshole. But what else am I supposed to do? That asshole is my dad. That is one spacious van looking at the distance of those seats. They're probably holding your father on the upper level. Same place they kept you. There's an elevator bank down the hall. Try not to let them see you. Oh. They know I'm here, Rebecca. There's no way they don't. This? This was a bad idea. Hey, look at me. I was once your test subject. Yeah, everybody get to the glass. Security guards, what are you guys gonna do? Hand over your weapons and come with me, sir. I can show myself in, but thanks for the offer. I'd rather this not turn ugly, Mr. Miles. Then let me through. Subdue the subject, please. Absolutely don't give a damn. I mean, I just killed four people and you're just on your computer. You too. Looks like, no, you're not a janitor. Psh, you guys have balls. You don't care. Uh, he did say second level. Am I just supposed to go to the elevator? Oh. Fourth floor. That's not the fourth floor. Oh, it actually is. It said number four. Well, I see you've learned absolutely nothing since you left us. Walking into an elevator in the middle of a hostile environment. Really? Where's my father? Now be a good boy and wait for security to fetch you. You're gonna have to climb the rest of the way.
Need eyes on him. He can't be far. Where the hell is he? There I am. Sorry, but I just don't know where he is. That's okay. I do. Oh, all you guys are scared now. All over. What do you guys have? Muskets? Like you can't shoot multiple bullets at me? Um... Huh. Oh, it was a window. Give me the apple. <laughs> Let's not draw this out. You got nowhere to go, and I've got a gun. Speaking of which, it's the 21st century and you're still running around with only a tiny knife for protection? <laughs> it's stupid. All right, Desmond. Game's over. Not now. Not now. Inya is just a robot. Yet, get out! What the hell was that? them like forever to pull their gun out. What? I 
again, what is this, the 17th century where you have to line your musket? Those guys don't care. Where's Vidic? Guys, that's how you use a gun. What? Please don't kill me. I'll let you in. I didn't know I had a pistol. What? Not so fast, Mr. Miles. 
In case you hadn't noticed, I'm the one calling the shots. Now give me the apple. You want it? Fine. Here it is. Wait! No! Never should have come here. You put everything on the line. For what? So you could rescue your father? Yeah. Like that guy has a pistol pointed to his mouth. Now he drops it. I'd get the power source hooked up before heading back into the Animus. But it's your call. Uh, I guess up here is where the power sources go. I regret not asking you to hack into the Abstergo servers while you were there. A couple of well-placed relays and we'd be swimming in information. We have everything we need. Yeah, except the key. We're close. How do you know? I just do. I've been poking around a bit. Did you know there are machines down here that make, well, mana? Wizard mana or biblical mana? What do you think? Biblical, of course. The Greeks called it ambrosia. The Indians, amrit or soma. Most cultures around the world refer to a divine food, though I'd say its taste is anything but. You ate something that came out of a 75,000-year-old machine? And I live to tell the tale. So? What did it taste like? Cardboard. Taste of cardboard. Hardly the stuff of legends, though I wonder if the first civilization didn't taste differently than we do. Maybe the flavorizer broke. Flavorizer? You've certainly got away with words, Rebecca. Things are getting worse outside. What do you mean? Every day for the past two weeks, the sun has been throwing off larger and larger flares. Older satellites are starting to malfunction. I hear rumblings of recalling the crew on the International Space Station. There's already work being done as well to shield power stations and transformers on the ground. Not that any of it matters. This goes far beyond some brownouts. We all saw what's actually coming. Do you know how it works? Look, I'm no physicist, but it, it's something to do with the Earth's geomagnetic field. The flares and mass ejections disturb it, which appears to trigger seismic events. I've tried reaching out to people who might know better, but they all insist it's bunk. And I don't blame them. It sounds ridiculous. I wish it was. Best we finish up with Connor.
thought we could be saved. We sought to face the sun's wrath and contain it. Four towers would be built to pull her fury into this place and dispel it. But even with all we knew, with all we had, it would take too long. A thousand years we could labor and still the work would not be done. The first tower was never completed. The project abandoned. We moved on. But while we labored on other endeavors, a few returned. They thought to automate the process. Metal might finish what flesh could not. If we could not meet the sun's cruel embrace, perhaps we might rebuke it. Already we could generate fields to protect us in times of strife. But these were small and simple things. To replicate them on a scale the size of a world. We lack the energy to make it so. Half the world, they said then. It is better than none at all. We tried. Again, we failed. A quarter, they asked. Even this we could not do. A sixth, an eighth, a tenth, they cried. The answer was still the same. Perhaps in time a city might be spared. But it was time we did not have. So we moved on. One way to find out. power sources so that means after this there should be another one what is a fact is it fixed immutable certain in its existence and only awaiting discovery or might it be changed here we learned the answer and thought that it might save us they were used to command to control, to own. But we soon discovered another use. When enough sat in thrall and were told to believe, their thoughts took on form. What was imagined became real. If a hundred minds could wish away a wall or create a tree, 
What might a thousand do? Ten thousand. More. Might we change the consensus and will the threat away? We resolved to send one into the sky where it might illuminate us all. Once placed, a sentence would be uttered. Make us safe. In this way, we would change the consensus. We would save the world. But it never came to be. We sent a dozen of them skyward, but there was no way to maintain control, to direct the beam, to enthrall the world, to speak the words. Though this was strange and dangerous, what we tried next was worse. back to change the past but we could not find a way but forward we could look forward and so here we sought to see beyond ourselves and know what was to come first we wanted to learn if our work would succeed but the answer was always the same so we moved on to other things but she remained, the one you call Minerva. In time, she too stopped looking, and instead began to speak. She called out across time, in the hopes that you might be saved. She hid messages where none might find them, save for you and those within this place. Fascinating. Tired of it. The cryptic warnings, the threats. Just tell us what you want! But they are. We saw the Nephilim there. We seemed like grasshoppers in our own eyes, and we looked the same to them. Imagine trying to explain all this to a two-year-old, to a grasshopper. When they said the will of the gods was unknowable, they meant it. Literally. I killed her, you know. I killed Lucy. It was the Apple, son. It was Juno. I saw what she was. What would happen if I let her live? I could have stopped myself. I mean, there was a force there. But I didn't have to. I chose to. Desmond. Lucy was going to betray us and take the Apple back to Abstergo. I saw the satellite launched. I saw them turn it on and then... It failed. Whatever's on the other side of that door, it benefits Juno. We need to be careful. 